Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here, and we're fixing to take a look at something that I think is really just phenomenal. Everyone remember to go to marsfam.net where we are logging all of this stuff. It's going to continue to build as a great place to go and look at imagery that is not fuzzy. Listen, I also want to give a mention to Chris Maroney, Lunar Anomalies and Beyond. You know, Chris, I talk to him all the time. I consider him a friend. He's one of the few people that I believe has his head on straight about this stuff. Now I'm going to let Chris uh, have a word real quick. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, no, that'll be enough of that, Chris. No, seriously, the guy with the other accent, you know what I'm talking about. And Chris does a fantastic job. I want to put a link to a moon video that he did recently. And it's called Crane-Like Machines and Structures Found on Our Moon. And there's something special about this video. And it's special because all the research done here was by a young lady who has really been a big, big help to both Chris and myself. And I can honestly say that nobody has taken more interest and provided more help for this channel, as well as MarsFam.net, as Sarah Michelle Lafreniere. And she does it for no reason other than she believes in what we do here. And she believes that the truth does matter. So follow the link in the description and check it out over on Chris's channel. Okay, what we're looking at here is a left mast cam mosaic uh, created on Sol 1367, that's Martian Day 1367, of the Curiosity Rover's adventure on the Martian surface. What I'm going to be showing you I think is pretty straightforward and it is outstanding evidence. Okay, so we're not going to be looking over this entire image. We've already looked at some of this stuff. But I do want you to know that to the extreme left back there, to the extreme right, is going to be more than 600 yards. Possibly more than 700. And I know this because of the 230-yard range that we did measure using the NavCam imagery. You can see the rover here. There's something right here that is extremely significant. That's what we're going to talk about. We have looked at this before, folks. It's been a while, but it is so much clearer now. Take a look right here. This is already in the evidence page on marsfam.net. There's no getting around this, folks. Anyone that um, just wants to glance at this and turn around to you and say, those are just rocks. They got their head up their butt. They really do. There's no other way to put it. Actually, there is another way to put it. Now, there is added obfuscation in this, such as this gray area here. You see all this right here? That's not actually sand. We can tell that that was added by software. But come on, take a look at this. And look at the metal that is exposed right here. Now, let's back out just a minute. We're going to talk about the size of all that, okay? You can see the rover track right here. It went through and roughed this area up. And you can see metal being exposed here. And this is what I have been contending for years now, is that none of this stuff is rocks in some of these images. None of it. None of this that's in this image. It is covered with fallout. It's hardened, calcified, whatever you want to call it, petrified, rockified. Actually, the rockification is done by uh, NASA software or whomever developed the software that they are using. Once again, I contend that most of NASA does not even see the original images they're seeing the same stuff we are that's why they don't think anything's happening to it but it is and I also contend that what we're seeing here what is exposed is part of a buried civilization take a look around some of this appears to be metal that's being exposed other things maybe not or maybe it's just covered up and here we see a white substance being exposed and we have seen things that we believe are compound substances, such as concrete. And here is a round object that, though it's not shiny, I think that's artificial. Now what we're doing here is we're moving back towards the rover to look right underneath it. There's some interesting stuff here. In fact, there's something that was missed by the software. There it is. Let's back out and zoom back in. Just want to kind of get the perspective here. Folks, that's fabricated metal. It even looks like possibly a bolt head on top. Something similar. Really, you're going to deny this. Are you? 
You need to tell folks about this. It's real. And the thing about it is, and I made a joke about it at the beginning of this production, it's not fuzzy. We know how people say, how come all the pictures on Mars of supposed artificial things are always fuzzy? They're not. They're not at all. And we can prove it. All you got to do is show people the pictures. Now let's talk about the size of what this stuff is, okay? We're not making guesses here. We know. Now let's bring in our scale model and uh, you got to be kidding me. Really? It's that small? Huh. No jokes, please. But yes, as a matter of fact, uh, zoom back in there. Thank you. The distance from there to about there uh, is about 2.6 inches. There we go. There's Marsha and Missy doing what she does best. Well, nearly. And, yep, that's what we've got, folks. Those are very small pieces of something. Now, this does not mean that the civilization on Mars is little people. I'm not saying that there's not some little people there. I don't really know, but that is not what this means. This just means that these are small parts, okay? I don't know what size the people were. I think they're probably conventional size because, well, we're just going to leave it at that. Okay, now that we've looked at the size of that, we need to remember, though, that uh, that rise, that hill back there, all of them are around 20 feet tall, okay? And which would make Marsh and Missy at this point look about like that back there, okay? There is some distance between here and there, and as you can see her right there, that's what she's going to look like. You know, distances can really be deceiving in two-dimensional images. It depends on the angle of the camera, the height of the camera, the terrain. You know, you got to be careful, but what we have done is this. See, we went in here to the nav cam imagery and went to the trouble of doing a lot of measurements. Uh, here is our uh, little object measurement right actually it's not measured on this image it was on a different one but we take a lot of different um, image measurements and as you can see here we took distance measurements to these different locations as a matter of fact 37.6 meters from here to here and that would be uh, roughly 125 feet which would be what? How many yards around? A little more than 40 yards. See guys, this is why I don't do stuff live. I have to think too much. And you're, you're seeing how I can ramble when uh, I'm just running through this thing, really not doing any editing. So that's, you know, that's, that's what you get this time. Sorry. But again, we're not making just uh, crazy guesses on this stuff. We're making sometimes swags, which is, as we've discussed before, that's an official term. Uh, acronym for scientific wild ass guess. Now, what I've done here is put just a slight bit of contrast via a filter on this because it really helps, you know, bring things out, especially when they've been obfuscated anyway. I've got to come up with a better word. It's just too many syllables in that for me. But just take a look around here at the ground and notice. Uh, how there's just sheets of things sticking out. This, this isn't what you're going to find on, on a planet that's just a bunch of rocks and never had any life. Sheets and, and blocks. Let's see, I bet we can find a block in this thing. Let's look around. Oh, before we do that, okay, here's this area again, as you can see. And, and just, man, come on. I mean, what do you, you got to do? Look, look at this, just in this one image. How many smoking guns do we have to have? Okay, if we get any more smoking guns, uh, the BATF's going to have my number, you know, uh, they probably do anyway, you know, for other reasons, but right here, and I think I've showed this before, there appears to be something written right across here, uh, going top to bottom, that almost looks like an S, and we've seen that in other places in Mars images, but there does appear to be writing going down, but just, you know, look around at everything, all of this, all these straight edges and so on and so forth. These, these should be dead giveaways. Oh, look at this. Wow. Okay. I, th I think I've seen this before. Yes. And there is um, some cover up right here. But you can see a bit of a design right here on it. Oh, this is better than a block. 
Wow. Oh, I pulled away for a second there looking for a block because I'll embarrass myself. I know I just saw a really nice block and I'm looking for it, but right here, take a look at this thing. I think this is pretty interesting. Not just all of this in the shape, but this. It looks golden. It really does. We've seen quite a bit of that color. I'm not saying it is gold, the element, but it's definitely gold in color. You can see the reflection off of it, uh, of the sun, I assume. And you can actually make out some uh, segmented areas on it. Well, there's a couple of blocks right there, but it's not the ones I was looking for. But I'm going to show you where that is. There it is. That's the one I was looking for. It even looks like it's pulled away from right here. And, and this is beautiful too. I, I say beautiful, but I think there was a lot of death that occurred right here. So it's probably not that pretty. But look at that block. And folks everywhere. Look, look at that. Check this out. I don't know what this stuff is, but what I'm telling you is there is a buried civilization. That is what we're looking at. A buried civilization. We've got these rises where there's some stuff on them. But down here where this rover's coming through and roughing things up, I just can't help but be amazed at things like this right here that the world is ignoring. This is the real stuff, and that's what we're trying to do here. Doing this for you. We're not doing this for me. It makes me happy when people realize what's going on. But this isn't about money, folks. This is about the truth. The truth does matter. Go visit MarsFam.net. I don't think we're putting up any 3D pictures out of this because the NavCam imagery, let me show you that real quick, uh, looks about like this. And here is that area where we measured right here, that object. Uh, right up here is the object that has writing across it. It looks quite a bit different right now, doesn't it? I tell you what we're going to do. If you know how to do the cross view 3D, look at this. There's your cross view 3D. If you know how to do it, go ahead and uh, do the crazy thing right now. And then we'll add that. That arrow, and that arrow should be in 3D, is pointing to that little area that we talked about. And there's that area a little closer again in cross view 3D. Now, for those that use the mirrored glasses or whatever type glasses, that's for you. Don't try to cross your eyes at this one. You'll go crazy. And there it is up close. Sorry, I didn't do the arrows. But you can see right here is that little object. We have run way over because I have rambled too much. But I think this is an important video. That's an important area. And all this will be logged, as I said, on marsfam.net. Well, you can just go and look at it. I think they're pretty convincing, pretty compelling. We'll see y'all next time. Adios.